Hi, a very good morning to you all children. So we'll be continuing with the chapter place value and the topics are standard form, word form, expanded form. We will learn how to write the number pattern and how to write the predecessor. Worksheet page number 16, 17 and 18 will be covered in this video. Let's see, write the numbers shown on each spike abacus in all the forms. You can see the abacus and you can see four spikes given and in each spike several beads are be given. You have to count that and then write the standard form, word form and the expanded form. Let's see. The first spike is in ones place, second one, tenth place, third one, hundredth place and fourth one is in thousandth place. We will count out each beads in each spike and write the standard form. In ones place, how many beads are there in the spike? One, two, three, four, five. So we will write five. In tenth place, we have two, one, two. So you will write two. In hundredth place, we have three, one, two, three. So I have written three. In thousandth place, we have four, one, two, three, four. So you got the number. 4325. Either you can write from right hand side or you can start writing from left hand side. Whenever you are writing it should be correct. How will you write the word form? You are going to write the word form. Whenever you are starting the word form it should start with capital letter. That is 4000 4000 300, 125. That is 4 is in thousands place. So you write 4,000. 3 is in hundreds place. 325. This is how you write the word form. Word form means the number name. How will you write the expanded form? 4 is in thousands place. So 4,000 plus 3 is in hundreds place. So 300 plus 2 is in tens place. So 20 plus 5 is in ones place. So 5. Or you can write in this form like 4 thousands plus Three hundred plus two tens plus five ones. Okay, either you can write the expanded form like this or this way. Both are correct. Let's see another example. An abacus is given. Let's count the beats and write the standard form. Now I will show you from left hand side. Thousands place we have how many beads? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I will write the number 5. After 5 you have to separate with a comma because whenever there is a 4 digit number you have to separate with comma. In hundreds place we have the number 1. In tens place we have the number 2. In ones place we have the number so 5124 let's write in word form 5124 5124. This is how we write the word form. How will you write the expanded form? 5 is in thousands, please. So 5,000 plus 1 is in hundreds, please. 100 plus 2 is in tens, please. 20 plus 4 is in ones, please. So 4. Or you can write 5 
thousands plus one hundred plus two tens plus four ones. Either form you get right. Now let's see how to write the number form. That is write the numeral. 1320. How will you write in number form? 1 is in thousands please. Sorry. 1 is in thousands please. Put a comma. 3 is in hundreds please. It's 3. And you have in t tens and ones please. We have the number 20. This is how you write the number form. 1320. Now, next one is 6203. How will you write? 6 in thousands, please. Put a comma. 2 is in hundreds, please. 2. And nothing is there in tens, please. So, you will put 0. And in ones, please, we have the number 3. Got it? Third one, 4007. How will you write this? 4 is in thousands, please. Put a comma. Do you have any number in hundreds, please? Nothing is there. So, you have to put 0. Do you have any number in tens, please? Nothing is there. So, you will put 0. And in ones, please, we have the number 7. So, you write 4007. Last one, 7089. So, how will you write? 7 is in thousands, please. Put a comma. Do you have any number in hundreds, please? Nothing is there. So, we put 0. In tens and ones, please, we have 89. So, we will write 89. Got it? Now, the fourth one is write the number names. I will do two questions for you. For the questions, you have to do it yourself. 2375. How will you write? Whenever you are writing the number name, it should start with capital letter. 2,000, 2,300, 300, 70, 75. Got it? 2,375. Next one is 4,083. How will you write? 4,000, do you have any number in hundreds please? Nothing is there. 4,083, this is how we write. 83. The other two questions, you can do it yourself. Fifth one, write the place value and face, face value of the digit. Now, can you see the underlined numbers? In first one, first one we have 5,972. Phase value of 9 is, 9 is in which place? But here the first question, phase value. Phase value of 9 is 9. Phase value of 9 is 9. But the place value will be different depending on the number where the place is in. 9 is in hundreds place. So, 9 into 100 equals to 900. Got it? B question 6,087. 6,087 is the second question. Phase value of 8 is same. 8 itself. Phase value will be the same. The same number. Place value is 8 is in which place? Tens place. So, you will multiply the number with 10. 8 into 10 you get 80. Got it? Other questions? Try to do it yourself. Now, observe the pattern and complete the series. Just see through the number 2000, 2010, 2020. What will be the next number? You have the difference 
of 10 each 2000, 2010, 2020. 10 has been increased by each number. So, the next number will be 2030. The next number will be 2040. Separate with the comma 2050. And the last one is 2060. You have to write four patterns, continuing patterns. 2000, 2010, 2020, 2013, 2040, 2050 and 2060. 10 has been increased by each number. Next one is 9200, 9300, 9400. How much has been increased by each number? 100 has been increased, right? 200, 300, 400. So, the next number will be 9500. 9600, 9700, and 9800. Got it? Last one. Write the predecessor. How to write the before number 2000? Predecessor means the number before. Number before. Predecessor means the number before 2000 minus 1 before number that is 1999. Got it? The number before 2000 is when you minus 1 from 2000 you get 1999. What is the number before 3000 minus 1 you get 2999. Got it? I will do two more questions for you. Further questions you can do it yourself. 4001 minus 1. 4000. You get 4000. Next one 5999. When you minus 1 you get 5998. Got it? That is all for the class today. Thank you.